So here's the lemma that we need uh, to prove this result. So uh, we take a continuous function f from x to y and let f be a finite subset of x. So f can be of the form say x1, x2, xn and now we define for epsilon greater than 0 this set bf b capital f and this function f and epsilon this consists of all the continuous functions g from x to y such that the distance between fx and gx is less than epsilon uh, when you take the supremum over all these um, uh, distances over this finite set f so this means that x belongs to this set x1 x2 xn so uh, this just means that the supremum of dfx k g k is less than epsilon so d of f x k g x k is less than epsilon and you take the supremum uh, of k uh, from 1 to n so this is the same thing and so uh, once we have these kinds of sets then the claim is that the collection of all these sets bf um, f epsilon where f ranges over the continuous functions f ranges over all finite subsets of x and epsilon is any positive number then all these uh, sets taken together form a collection bpc which is a basis for the topology of pointwise convergence so uh, this is just a useful reformulation for the basis uh, uh, description of the topology of pointwise convergence recall that the topology of pointwise convergence was nothing but the product topology uh, on cxy so uh, cxy seen as a subspace of f and x y um, uh, where the uh, set of all functions from x to y is given the product topology so uh, let me recall it here and let's see the proof of this lemma so proof so recall that the topology of pointwise convergence on cxy is the subspace topology on cxy as a subset of all functions fn xy uh, from x to y uh, given the um, product topology so this means that uh, any um, any basis element any basis element of tau pc is of the form is of the following form so this is pi x1 in inverse u1 intersection pi x2 inverse u2 and you have finitely many intersections like this uh, intersection with cxy so this is uh, this first half this half is open in f and x y well rather it's a basis set actually it's a basis basis set in f and x y in the product topology and uh, the product topology when uh, cxy is given the subspace uh, uh, of um, f and x y then uh, the basis elements on cxy look like basis element intersection cxy right so um, this this is this is the basis element for the um, topology of pointwise convergence on cxy so what are these uh, elements pi x i inverse uh, so pi x k inverse u k so here u k is open in y uh, and x k belongs to x so this is for each k in 1 2 up to n okay 
So uh, we have chosen um, n points x1 to xn in x and n different open sets in y. These are u1 up to un. And pi xk inverse uk was nothing but the set of all functions f in f and xy such that f of xk belongs to uk. This was the set that we defined. So, um, so these are the basis elements for the topology of pointwise convergence. And we need to show that uh, this um, uh, basis element contains a basis element of the form given in the lemma. So we need to show that given f in, so let me call this uh, bigger uh, set, um, let's say this is called b1, okay. So uh, if f is uh, an element of b1, then there exists a set of the form bf f epsilon such that we have f belongs to bf f epsilon which is a subset of b1 and this will show that the topology generated by uh, these sets in the lemma so remember that these were uh, given in the lemma so these were exactly the sets uh, the set of functions continuous functions so that's a supremum over dfxk gxk is less than epsilon. So um, so this shows if, if we prove this then this shows that tau pc uh, is contained in the topology generated by bpc. So bpc was all these uh, the collection of all these sets bf f epsilon so um, so let's try to show this and then we will show the reverse inclusion as well uh, so how to how to show that if f is in b1 then there exists such a set bf f epsilon which is a subset of b1 so um, let's see how this works so if since f belongs to b1 which is nothing but the intersection of pi x1 inverse u1 pi xn inverse un intersection cxy uh, now this means that fxk belongs to uk for each k in in the set 1 2 up to n so this is how <coughs> these sets were defined and uh, this means that there exists so uk is a subset of y and this is a metric space so uh, there exists an epsilon k greater than 0 such that fxk is uh, belongs to the metric ball around fxk with radius epsilon k and this is a subset of uk so uh, for each k for each k in 1 2 up to n and as now that we have this then uh, it's it's now easy to to show that um, b of f f epsilon is nothing but uh, the so take f to be the set x1 up x2 up to xn and epsilon to be the minimum of these epsilon k's okay so k in 1 to n so then uh, our bf xk bf uh, sorry bff epsilon is nothing but the set of all continuous functions uh, such that uh, the supremum 
uh, uh, over k d of f x k g x k is less than epsilon and so now we claim claim that b of f f epsilon is a subset of b1 so take g in b f f epsilon and uh, this implies that the for each k in 1 2 up to n we have uh, that the distance between fxk and gxk is less than epsilon which is less than epsilon by k this means that g of xk the point g of xk belongs to the metric ball around fxk with radius uh, epsilon by k and this is a subset of um, of of uk so this means that gxk belongs to uk for each k and this is exactly uh, what we need to show that g belongs to b1 which is nothing but the intersections of all these sets pi x n inverse u n intersection c x y so g is already continuous and so uh, it also belongs to all these sets and g is continuous so g belongs to b1 uh, so this shows that uh, let me go back so this shows that tau pc is contained inside the topology generated by bpc and to show the reverse inclusion is uh, actually easier so so now uh, now take um, any basis set in uh, bpc of the form um, bf f epsilon so where f is finite and uh, f is in the continuous functions and epsilon is greater than zero and um, so uh, uh, this uh, we need to show we need to show that um, that bf f epsilon is open in tau pc so this will show that the topology generated by the these basis elements so the basis collection bpc is the same as tau pc so why is bf uh, f epsilon open in tau pc so remember that bf f epsilon this is the set of functions says that uh, the supremum x in f d of fx gx is less than epsilon so this means that for each uh, xi in f so suppose that f f is of the form x1 x2 xn so for each xi in f we have that g of xi belongs to the metric ball with center fxi and uh, radius epsilon and this is an open set this is an open set in in y so i i can uh, take this uh, this set and let this be denoted as ui then g uh, already belongs to this intersection g uh, pi x1 inverse u1 pi x2 inverse un intersection cxy so we have found uh, this is a basis element basis set for uh, the topology of pointwise convergence and now we want to show that this uh, this kind of set is a subset of bf f epsilon so uh, to show this so let h be a function in this set pi x1 inverse u1 intersection pi x n inverse u n intersection c x y then uh, we want to show 
that H is a subset, uh, is an element of BFF epsilon. So why is this true? So because of this condition, we have HXK belongs to the, the set UK. Okay. And uh, UK was nothing but the metric ball around FXK with radius epsilon. So this means that the distance between hxk and fxk is less than epsilon for all or for all k in 1 2 up to n. So this means that you can take the supremum over x um, over over this set 1 2 up to n. And so the distance between uh, hxk and fxk is still going to be less than epsilon and this means that h belongs to bf f epsilon so uh, it's a bit tedious but we finally find that this implies that bpc gen is generated uh, it generates the topology of pointwise convergence tau pc and now once we have this then we can prove our uh, main theorem which was to compare uh, the topology of pointwise convergence the topology of uh, compact convergence and the topo and the uniform topology so uh, let's see a proof of that theorem so we have this uh, theorem that we wanted to show which is that the topology of pointwise convergence is coarser than the topology of compact convergence which is coarser than the uniform topology and if x is compact then the last two agree and if x is a discrete uh, space so it's given the discrete topology then the first two agree so let's see a proof so first of all to show that tau pc is a subset of tau cc then take uh, any basis any basis set uh, b f f epsilon so we are just going to use the description of the basis that we just gave so this belongs to b p c okay so this generates generates tau p c as we saw in the last lemma so uh, we have to show that this is um, open uh, in tau c c so to show that b f f epsilon is uh, is open in tau c c just take so remember that the topology of compact convergence uh, had basis elements so uh, basis elements were of the form b c f epsilon then this was the set of all functions in c x y such that the supremum over the compact set c of the distances between fx and gx was less than epsilon so this was the basis set in uh, tau cc and uh, we can take for the compact set c we can simply take the finite set f here so every finite set is compact take c to be f so then we have a compact set and then b uh, c f epsilon is exactly the same as 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 um, the description of the uh, basis set in the topology of compact convergence so this means that bf epsilon which is the same as bcf epsilon then this belongs to the topology of compact convergence so this shows that tau pc is a subset is a sub collection of tau cc now to show that the uh, topology of compact convergence is coarser than the uniform topology. So to show that topology of compact convergence is coarser than the uniform topology. So to show this, uh, take any any continuous function f c x y uh, contained in an open subset, open uh, set. Uh, let's call it a u in tau um, cc so this is a, an open set in the topology of compact convergence 
and we will show that uh, we will show that there exists a basis set um, of the form b row bar f epsilon uh, <coughs> which is contained in u right so uh, this will imply that uh, tau cc is a subset of tau u because then u will be open in in the uniform topology so to show this um, since u is open in tau cc this implies that there exists a basis element basis element of the form b c f f epsilon which is contained inside u and of course f lies here so and this is a basis element in the topology of compact convergence however however we have that the basis element in the uniform topology basis element in tau u uh, given by given by b rho bar f epsilon is a subset of b c f epsilon since if uh, if the supremum over all uh, x in x d of f x uh, say h x is less than epsilon for some function so some continuous function s h then this implies that the supremum of x in c d of f x h x is also less than epsilon so if h belongs to uh, this set b rho bar f epsilon then it also belongs to b c f epsilon and this shows that uh, we have uh, this means that f belongs to b rho bar f epsilon which is a subset of b c f epsilon and this is a subset of u so this means that u belongs to the topology uh, the uniform topology so uh, this is an open open set in the uniform topology and therefore the uniform topology is finer now to show that um, uniform topology coincides with the uh, topology of compact convergence when x is compact so this was our first point so when x is compact tau u is equal to tau cc and this can be shown by proving that the b rho bar f epsilon is open in tau cc so uh, this happens exactly because x is compact and i um, want you to show and i will leave it as an exercise to show that b rho bar f epsilon is a basis set for tau cc so this is an exercise so the, basically this is because we are taking in the basis set for the topology of compact convergence we are taking supreme over compact x and because x is compact you can take the supremum over x and so you, you will get a uh, row bar rather uh, actually you will get a row so it, it will give you the same topology as uh, row, uh, the uniform metric so i discussed this uh, dif difference between row and row bar but when x is compact they give the same topology so um, i will leave you to prove this similarly when x is di discrete x is discrete then this implies that uh, the only comp compact sets are finite only uh, only the finite sets are compact rather only the finite sets are compact so this means that uh, b c of f epsilon is always of the form b f of f epsilon uh, for f finite 
So this means that uh, the topology of uh, compact convergence is contained in the topology of pointwise convergence and we have shown the other uh, inclusion so they coincide. So um, in general, in general, uh, for example, if so this is a remark, if x and y are the real line say then the uh, there is a strict inclusion then uh, tau pc is strictly contained in tau cc and this is strictly contained in tau u so for example if you take the function take the continuous function f from r to r uh, given by fx equal to 1 so then the graph looks like this so this is just one so this is f of x and uh, let's consider um, some some finite set x1 x2 x3 so let's just take three points so what will be so let let's take f to be x1 x2 x3 right so what will be the um, set for some epsilon greater than 0 bf f epsilon so they, they they will contain so if g is contained in bf f epsilon so this will be of the following form so you have uh, epsilon neighborhoods of f of x so this this distance is epsilon similarly at x2 this distance is epsilon and similarly at x3 this distance is epsilon right and the function g uh, can have the following form so so g can go outside this uh, epsilon um, epsilon tube if you want or strip uh, around fx so it can go outside g uh, outside this this strip for uh, points other than x1 x2 and x3 but at x1 x2 and x3 they must lie within epsilon distance so it can be something like this so so let's redraw so you can be something like this So this is g g of x and um, so this epsilon uh, distance with fx only happens at x1 x2 and x3 it can happen at some other points but that's not necessary however uh, this function g but this g does not belong to the compact set if you take this following compact set this this is c then uh, at some point in c then it is going outside this epsilon uh, strip uh, around fx so it does not belong to bc of f epsilon so uh, if you choose any c which which is um, uh, which contains f as a as a proper subset then you can find such a g which does not belong to uh, this bc f epsilon and this shows that uh, the topology of pointwise convergence is strictly uh, fine and uh, strictly coarser than the topology of compact convergence and similarly uh, one can use a similar argument to prove that the topology of compact convergence is strictly coarser than the uniform topology so um, this uh, is a, just a preliminary uh, the basic properties of of these three topologies and we will use the topology of compact convergence to formulate the Arcelor Ascoli theorem.